Alright, Shalom, Shalom. Call him a Yina, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash. All praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, who the Word intimately calls God. And in the name of the Son, I'm going to say, Yahweh Shai, who the Word intimately calls Jesus Christ in the name of the Holy Spirit. I'd like to give a double honor to my elders and apostles of great most known who taught me this truth. And double citation to all Yahweh, the men that are prophesying the name throughout the four winds of this earth. Pushing this truth without righteousness and sincerity. Shalom to you, brothers. And to the Aqua, the few sisters that are listening and learning and following the men of the Lord, to you, I say Shalom. Coming back at you with another lesson through the Spirit and Power, Yahweh Shin Yahshai, Lord willing to edify and faith and lambs of Yahweh Shin Yahshai. And this article is from the New York Post, and it reads China threatens, threatens nuclear war. Expanding arsenal in case of intense showdown with the U.S. You see? So this is the time of war. Okay? World War Three update, man. So this thing is about to intensify. Okay? So China is threatening war with the U.S. Russia is threatening war with the U.S. Iran is threatening war with the U.S. All these nations are pretty soon um, so-called America's allies are not going to be America's allies pretty soon. And this is all being done through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. So without further ado, let's get into this article and then I'm going to put out some precepts and go on this lesson be edifying. <clears throat> the media mouthpiece for the Chinese Communist government talks the country's urgent goal, goal to expand its arsenal of long-term range Nuclear missiles <laughs> in its in anticipation of an intense showdown with the U.S. as the U.S. Str strategy contempt containment of China has increasingly intensified. I would like to remind again that we have plenty of our like of in of urgent tasks, but among the most important ones is to rapidly increase the number of commissioned nuclear warheads. So China is about to increase their arsenal. All right? <laughs> so, hey, World War Three is at hand, okay? And the DF-401S, the strategy missile that are capable to strike long range and have high survivability, in the Chinese arsenal, wrote Hong Jin, Jin, the editor of the Global Times. The number of China, China's war nuclear warheads must reach the quantity that makes U.S. elites <laughs> shiver. Wait a minute. Hold up. Let me read that again. Hold up. <laughs> The number of China's nuclear warheads must reach the quantities that makes U.S. elites shiver should they entertain the idea of engaging in a military confrontation with China, he said. <laughs> what? Oh, man. See? Hey, we told you. This is coming. Okay? Look. China is no longer, these nations are no longer afraid of America. They're getting tired of America being bu being bullied by the, uh, Babylon Great America. These nations are fed up being bullied by America, man. And these nations are not taking it anymore. These heathens, are, these heathens say enough is enough. This is what it's basically saying. They, they trying to create enough nuclear war as to make America shiver. All right, they want America scared, which America gonna lose this war anyway. All right, so hey, nevertheless, wow. On this basis, we can claim, claimly, and actively manage the diverse divergencies with Washington to avoid a minor incidents. Sparking a war, which is not going to happen. U.S. Host hostility towards China is burning. <laughs> Ooh. 
We must use our strength and our consequences that Washington cannot afford to bear if it takes risky moves to keep them sober. Han wrote, adding that Beijing must be ready for the intense showdown. Woo! It's about to go down, man. It's about to go down. <laughs> oh, man. All praises to you. How about Shim Yao Shai about Shim Rakakadash? Hey, let it, let it, let it intensify, man. All right. And let's read on. The threat from the editor of the Global Times has come as President Biden ordered the U.S. intelligence community to take another look at whether the C virus leaked from the A China lab, which they're doing an investigation on, by the way. <clears throat> The agencies have a 90-day deadline to come back with a report on their findings, which, you know, blah, blah. Anyway, um, I'm just talking about the pandemic. I, don't, I ain't going to read that. Um, I'm not going to read that. But I made my point in this article. I'm not going to read that. I'm just talking about the, you know, that whole thing. Anyway. But I'll put the article in the description box so you can read it. But hey, man, look. Like it says, man, measure down the times diligently. All right, let's get that. All right, Second Israel chapter 9 and verse 1. Second Israel 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. These nations are being gathered up for this next war, man. World War Three, okay? Where well, these nations are going to fight each other along with America, okay? Before Yahweh Shai crash them clouds and then they're going to stop fighting one another and then they're going to try to fight Yahweh Shai, which they're going to lose, by the way, okay? Verse 3. Therefore, when there should be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, all right, you're seeing uproars, uprisings in the world, okay? You're going to see uprisings and uproars here in Babylon pretty soon, okay? The nations are in an uproar because of America. They're sick and tired of being bullied by, by this damn beast, all right? By America, Babylon the Great, by the whore, all right? <laughs> They're tired of being bullied. Okay, verse 4. Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. <clears throat> like, as, like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. The end is being manifest as we speak. Okay, these nations are getting tired of being bullied by the whore. <laughs> all right. <laughs> They tired of being played by this 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 wicked queendom known as Babylon the Great America, and these nations are about to they about to have a showdown, okay? All right, verse six. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in the in wonders and in powerful works and endings and effects and signs, and these are the signs that we're looking for, okay? So we're getting very very close. To this happening. All right, let's see. Let's see. I want to go to. Let's get this. Joel three and nine. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles: Prepare war. Wake up the mighty man. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. And this is what is all being done for. Okay, these nations to come. All right, these nations are being drawn out. Okay. So, hey, America is being drawn into this next war. China, China is threatening war. Russia is threatening war. Hey, these nations, they're fed up. And they're about to, they're about to burn Queen Babylon, the great America, man. They're about to burn this place. This place is about to be burned by thermonuclear missiles, okay? Verse 10, be your plow seat. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say I'm strong. And that's what's happening. Okay? 
these nations that didn't have nuclear capabilities now saying, hey, we ain't going to be bullied by you, by America anymore. They're tired. Okay. So that's that. Man, I tell you, it's over for this place, man. Verse 11, assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Hither cost thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord Yahweh Let the heathen be wakened and come up into the valley of Yahweh Shapat. For there I will sit to judge all the heathen round about. And this is what's about to take place. Okay? So we're getting very close to World War III. And you people hogging about going back to normal. This is the normal you people so desperately want. <laughs> yeah, okay. Revelations 11 and 14. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe coming quickly. That third woe, World War III, is coming quickly. All right? <clears throat> Let's get this. This is Obadiah verse 7. All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have Deceive thee and prevail against thee, and they that eat thy bread have made a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. So all these nations that were once confederate with America are now turning on America. Okay? Let's get this in the NLT. <clears throat> Alright, let's go to the NLT. And let's read this. Obadiah verse 7 in the NLT it says... All your allies will turn against you. All America's allies is turning against Babylon, the great America. Okay? And they will help to chase you from your land. They will promise you peace. <laughs> all these peace treaties ain't going to work. All right? They're trying to, you know, cease peace and all of these, all these peace treaties that America's trying to, you know. And plus, America's about to go to Russia and, you know, Joe Biden is about to go to Russia and have that talk with, you know, Vladimir Putin or Putin, whatever the hell. Anyway, you know, that ain't going to work out too well. OK, like it says, they will promise you peace while plotting to deceive and destroy you. These nations are plotting in the background on how to get rid of Babylon, the great America. All right. And who is. And who is running Babylon, the great America? These Edomites, the so-called white race. All right. Your trusted friends will set traps for you and you won't even know about it. Dang, that's happening. All right. All your all America's allies. The Americans think they got allies. America ain't got no allies, man. All right. <laughs> so, hey. It's over. Let's get to go back. All right. <clears throat> All right. Let's get this. Revelation chapter 17, verse 16. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore. And that's what's happening. All these NATO and EU nations, okay? And I, you know, all these EU and NATO nations, they're about to turn on Babylon, the great America, okay? So, hey. Don't be deceived by what you see in the news and think America is a, for NATO and NATO is for America. No, man. Look, NATO and the EU and all these nations that are associated with NATO and the EU, they're about to turn on Babylon. Like it says here, let's read it again. Revelation chapter 17, verse 16. <clears throat> and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. America is about to be burned by thermonuclear fire and concentration laser cherry fire when the cherries appear. Okay? Verse 17. For Yahweh have put in their hearts, which is their minds, to fulfill his will and to agree and to give their kingdoms unto the beasts unto the words of the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be fulfilled. And the woman, which is Babylon the Great, which thou sawest is that great city which ringeth over the kings of the earth, of the earth. Okay. <clears throat> but see, this is what's happening to Esau Edom. All right. 
Esau's allies are turning against him. All right. Habakkuk 2 and 16. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also. Let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of the glory held by Shemashah's right hand shall turn, shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spirits shall be on thy glory. All right. So hey, Esau's about to drink that cup of hatred, slavery, all of it. Okay? So all these nations that was once a confederate with America, Babylon, the Green. They're about to turn on Babylon. Let's read. Isaiah 34 and verse 1. Come near, ye nations, to hear, and hearken, ye people. Let the earth hear all that is therein, the world and all things that come forth of it. For the indignation of the Lord Yahweh is upon all nations. And his fury upon all their armies. He hath utterly destroyed them and hath delivered them to the slaughter. Their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses. And the mountains, which is the governments and the kingdoms of the nations, shall be melted with their blood. All right, Babylon is the main target. Okay. Verse 4. And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, and all their hosts shall fall down, their armies. All the nation's armies are going to fall, okay? As the leaf falleth off from the vine, as a fig, not, as, from, as a falling fig from the fig tree, my sword sh for my sword shall be bathed in heaven, behold, it shall come down upon Idumea. All right, and that sword represents those ICBM nuclear missiles. And, of course, the laser cherry fire. And Idumia is the Greek way of saying Edom. All right? China is threatening nuclear war because, hey, these nations are getting sick and tired of America. And upon the people of my curse to judgment. All right? The sword of the Lord Yahweh is filled with the blood. It is made fat with fatness, with the blood of the lambs and goats, and with the fat of the kidneys of rams for the glory, how about she and Shai have a sacrifice in Basra? Basra is the capital of Edom in ancient in the ancient world. But you can also compare this to America. Okay? And a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. Okay? For the unicorn, it's like, and the unicorns shall come down with them, and the bull lost with the bulls, and their land shall be soaked with blood, and the Dust and their dust made fat with fatness, for it's the day of the Lord Yahweh vengeance and the year of recompense for the controversy of Zion, the Israelites. So the Lord Yahweh is about to do a lot of wondrous works. Okay, this place is about to be nuked out. And who's gonna be following uh, after uh, China, Russia? Let's prove that. Let's get this. This is this is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 17. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in them. Their bow, their bows, which is the missiles, also shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall not and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldeans, excellency, shall be as when Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. So this is what's coming to Babylon, the great America. The ICBM nuclear missiles from the heathen, heathen nations. Okay? Got to clear that. This is Jeremiah 15, 29. Call together the archers against Babylon, all ye that bend the bow, camp against and around about. Let none thereof escape. Recompense her according to her words, according to all that she hath done, do unto her, for she has been proud against the Lord Yahweh Shai, against the Holy One of Israel. Therefore shall her young men fall in the streets, and all her men of war shall be cut off in the day. In that day, said the Lord Yahweh Shai. So 
America is about to be nuked out, okay, by these heathen and Gentile nations, all right? Verse 31, Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud, saith the Lord, Yahweh, Shav, host, for thy day is come, the time that I will visit thee, and the most proud shall stumble and fall, and none shall rise, raise him up. And I will kindle a fire in his cities, and it shall devour all round about him. That's what these nations were being prepared for. Okay? Let's get another one. Uh, let's see. Right here. Second Nations chapter 16, verse 13. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shoot are sharpened. They shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. All right. So, hey, once these missiles begin to be shot to the ends of the world, they ain't going to turn back. Let's read on. Verse 14. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they, until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backwards. Even so, the plans that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. So, once these plans begin to happen, they're not going to return again. Once those arrows, those missiles get begin to be shot over here on Babylon, the great America, they're not going to return back. None of this, like it says, uh, I think it's Jeremiah, hold on. Well, it says, none of these missiles are not going to miss their mark. Um, let's see. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, here it is. Jeremiah 15, verse 9. For lo, I will raise and cause to come, cause to come against Babylon in a symbol of great nations from the north country. And they shall set themselves in array against her, and from from thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man. None shall re none shall return in vain. These Muslims are not gonna return in vain. All right, really, because Yahweh Shah is gonna be directing these missiles where to go in that day when he returns. So hey, these nations are being gathered together for war. Okay, we're almost there. A lot of things are about to take place on earth, man. And this is beautiful times to be living in. So, hey, get right, man, before it's too late. Can't stress that enough. So with that, Lord willing, I pray this lesson was edifying. And I will put the article in the description box. All praises to you. How about Shem Yahshai, about Shem Rakakadash. Dumb Lunders, TDLs, and Apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, and as always, we give peace, blessings, and citations unto the elect that scatter abroad. See you with another lens soon, Lord One. Kwam Yasharanga, Shanga Wam, Wild Baba Ball, BTA, Kwam Yasharanga, Abad Adam Wam. Till next time, I say Shanga Wam.